promotions will come blessings will come can you withstand the challenge that will come with it praise God the things you're expecting from the Lord those big things you're expecting from the Lord it comes with challenges and like I said God in his faithfulness will prepare you that preparation you know sometimes people think that preparation is go and be praying 10 hours a day no it's information God prepares you by information he prepares even the revelation you receive is still information God can save do you understand however it comes by experience before by words it's information so when the challenge comes that is actually what the challenge is coming for do you really believe God can save prove it now and then you look at the challenge you say, ah I think <laughs> see this this kind of thing that's why God a lot of God's children run away from politics yeah, it's a dirty game. Ah, we can't go there. Hey, hey, you can't. In fact, if you hear any kind of things they do, ah, no, 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 no. I say, ah, I want to run for office. I hey, go and run that. Hey, somebody came to my house and threatened me. Yeah, the thing I saw, <laughs> Pastor, I don't think this politics is for people like us. That's what's keeping God's children. Not because God is not there to save. Not because the power of God is, is, is not available. Not because they cannot use the power of God. But their minds have not been trained to stand in the face of challenge. But guess what, what the character of God is? Give me a book of 1 Samuel chapter 2. Verse 6, 1 Samuel chapter 2. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the ground and brings up. Next verse. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and lifts up. Next verse. He raises the poor from where? The dust. And lifts who? The beggar. From where? The ash heap. What's the purpose? To set him among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. Why? For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. Do you understand what that statement is? The pillars of the earth belongs to who? The thing that is making this world stand belongs to who? God. So, Everything he's saying before he's telling you, the one who owns the pillar. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you see the pillars of the earth? You can't see it, but there are pillars. <laughs> yes. Are you getting what I'm saying? The one who fixed those pillars there, he can do anything. It is God. So he said, This is one of his character. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar. From the ash heap. See, to lift the beggar from the ash heap alone is wonderful. Are you get what I'm saying? But no, that's not his intention. His intention is that beggar that he raised from the ash heap, that nobody. He, he didn't just give him a job, he gave him a job first, but there is somewhere he's taking him to. He gave him a job to learn one or two things, to learn how to speak English for two years. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. But his intention is what? To set him amongst princes. And then that's not even the final place he's taking him to. When he sets him among princes so that he will learn how to be like a prince more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's not where God is taking him to. He says, and make them what? Inherit the throne. This is God's plan for you doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter where you've been it doesn't matter your qualification it is that's why he he says the beggar the beggar the beggar the one who has nothing he goes please anything for the boys <laughs> you understand what i'm saying that is the one god looks at and says, oh, yeah, it's time to raise you up 
and then he lifts him up and he said wow see what god but god is not done some are just satisfied but hey it says he will set that beggar amongst princes do you think those princes will clap hands and say wow let's stand up for the latest addition to the princely family the former beggar you think they are going to do that they will gang up against him they will gang up against him see when god wants to set you up most times it will not be because you qualify god will not choose the one who has qualified now i guess what i'm saying it will because it says so that no flesh will glory in his presence if he gave it to you because you're first class then you can glory with it i guess what i'm saying i mean I, I got my first class you know so i got a first class job you know say ah, god gave me that job yeah you know i mean the first class you will glory you will glory no matter how you want to think about it it will take you an effort to sit down by yourself and reason and say this is god i don't know if you get what i'm saying because you, you see if i give god glory oh we must say yeah. but you know if i didn't have a first class they would have it <laughs> that's the truth but you see you see god it's not like it's bad to have a first class if god would do this to a beggar how much more will he do because that your first class now becomes your beggarly state <laughs> You understand what I'm talking about? But some people are just qualified. So the first class guy, he 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 raised him from the ash door. The guy didn't know he was in the ash door, so he just got one good job. He thinks that is it. That's he got an oil company job. He thinks, wow, I mean that he doesn't know that that is his release from the ash, ash door. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then he said, please, God is taking him to 